Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here with David Wright. David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Thanks for being here, David. Appreciate your input. Yeah, thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so we're, we've got some, now, we've got some boot camps going. We're gonna talk about the benefit of boot camp. And you guys go check out different health clubs because a lot of health clubs have boot camps. And they're really popular, and we're going to tell you why and the benefit of those boot camps. And actually, David teaches a boot camp at uh, the Fitness for 10 there in Carson City. So um, everything's going to functional, especially if you're older. Functional movements. And it is amazing how much better you're going to feel if you feel stronger, your heart's stronger, your your body works as a unit as you're pushing or pulling something or jumping or whatever it may be. Boot camps are getting really, really popular. They're great, fun workouts. So, uh, David, tell us about your boot camp there. Yeah, Steve. So we have a Sunday morning boot camp. That's the one that I host Sunday at eight o'clock. And forgive the noise here in the background. We're doing some great expansion here at Fitness for 10 in Carson City, adding some great equipment in. So you'll probably hear a little bit of that throughout the video. But, um, you know, the boot camp here at 8 a.m., we do uh, 11 different stations, uh, whether it's kind of hit or calisthenics or, uh, you know, just different types of uh workouts for a minute each. Everybody rotates through each of those stations. And then, you know, we, we go for a second round and everybody leaves with a great workout, a lot of, you know, sweat going on there. So it's a really great way to get up in the morning, to get yourself going and to get through a great workout. So you feel really good the rest of the day. Um, you know, I feel that boot camps are really beneficial for, for people who, maybe want to get into some type of a workout routine, whether they're personal training with me as a client or, you know, just a member here at the gym and, and want to have some fun. And so our boot camp here uh, at eight o'clock is, is a great way to do that. And it's exciting. You know, I'm a gym owner, but gyms are exciting. And, you know, I was talking to my wife a couple of days ago thinking, you know what, I would almost guarantee you that, 75% of the population wouldn't go to the gym if it was free. If, if, if you, they had a free membership, 75% of the population wouldn't go. But gyms are exciting. And you build that camaraderie with that group in the morning that is doing the boot camp. And it's, very, it's almost like a family. And it's like you cheer each other on, you encourage each other. And it, they're for beginners to advanced. And you also said something that I wanted to explain. You said HIT. HIT is H-I-I-T. And I, I'm trying not to take for granted that people know what this stuff is. That's high intensity interval training, which means you're doing spurts of something at a fairly high intensity. And then you're, lo then you're lowering that intensity, maybe doing nothing for a number of seconds or letting your heart rate come down and regrouping so that you can go at that high intensity again. And it's a very effective workout and it's for all ages. You know, I really want to encourage those older people to get in there and do this type of training. It's functional training, which means it's going to help your balance. It's going to help you live better and it, and you're going to get stronger. Your overall body strength is going to get stronger. And you know what? I used to think I was nuts because I thought this was fun. I'm starting to wonder, you know, it's not really crazy to think this is fun. It really is fun and you really feel better. So whether it's boot camp or whether it's, you know, doing squats and I don't care what your age is. We have all shapes and sizes in the gyms and all shapes and sizes in all gyms, not just our gyms. All gyms are all shapes and sizes. They're big. They're small. They're all free weights. They're all machines. They're you know, group fitness, there's all kinds of gyms. Find one that fits you. Find one that you like that feels good for you. And especially if you're older, I just want to touch on that, those, these older people, or how about these younger people? Talk to your grandma, talk to your grandpa, encourage them to get in the gym. It's going to improve their, their level or quality of living their quality of life, it's going to improve it. 
And we have people in the gym that struggle to walk. We have people in the gym who are in wheelchairs. We have people in the gym who have, you know, 35 inch vertical leaps, you know? So there's all types of people, men and women in all ages, but get in there. You will be encouraged. Um, especially if you're older and you've never been in the gym, you're going to be encouraged. If you're really, really overweight, get in the gym. I love to see people who are obese in the gym. I, I don't like that you're obese, but I'm glad that you're in the gym and you're doing something quality for yourself and it's going to pay off and you're going to feel better every day. So anything you'd add to that, David? Yeah, so I, I would totally agree with, with all of that because, you know, as people come into the gym, and I think you made a really important point, um, not just our gym, though we'd love to see you here, and I'd love to, you know, run through, you know, intro session with, with you as a member of Fitness for 10, but, you know, no matter where you are, what gym might be out there, you know, as Steve alluded to, there's a ton of different types of gyms that specialize in different things or have, you know, a lot of different things like our gym here at Fitness for 10, but find a gym that you can be comfortable that'll fit you. Um, and, you know, with boot camps, you know, it's something where, you know, you do get that camaraderie. You get, you know, we have a lot of laughs in our gym and, you know, some serious work workouts along, you know, the way with our boot camp. Um, it, it's not, you know, a drill sergeant with a whistle, at least I'm not right. Um, but I make it fun. I make it very challenging and people, you know, leave with wanting to come back that next weekend, looking forward to a class, you know, it's eight o'clock in the morning, a lot of people would rather be sleeping in. But you know, the people that are interested in these boot camps, they're coming, they're getting a great start for their day. So they can go on and do whatever it is they need to do for the rest of the day, but they feel refreshed and ready to go. And, and that's really what it's all about is having fun. And, and, you know, it's the name boot camp sometimes scares people because they think it's going to be, you know, torturous and all that other kind of stuff. It's going to be challenging for sure. But to your point, all ages, you know, all fitness levels, all skill levels, doesn't matter if it's your first 10 minutes in the gym or you've been here for 10 years, you know, we have, you know, those workouts at the boot camp for all people. So there's, there's specific ones that I would, I go through and I show all the uh, boot campers uh, exactly how to do it in the right way. We go through each of the stations. And then I also show modifications to that for people who may not be at that particular level, but can still get that similar workout for whatever muscle group that we're trying to target um, at that time. So they can still get that, even if they can't do the specific, you know, more advanced exercise, if there, there is one for that particular station. So it's meant for everybody and, and questions are always answered, of course, and um, everybody just has a great time. And I think that's really important for fitness uh, boot camp or just coming in the gym in general, small group training, whatever it is that you're looking to do. It's always about having a good time here. And, and the environment is very supportive, like you said, um, regardless of, of what your, you know, uh, skill level or time in the gym has been, or if you've never been here before in your life and it's your first time walking through the door, um, you know, you're going to find a supportive environment. Yeah. And, you know, you made another point, go to different gyms and like you are a trainer at fitness for 10, but there's another gym in town, uh, um, anytime fitness that you like to do most of your workouts at, right? Yeah, I kind of split my time. You know, I've been with that gym for about, gosh, almost 13 years now. And so with it being pretty close to my house and everything, you know, I split my time there. I come here and work out and, of course, work here as a trainer. So, I mean, there's there's multiple gyms and, and you know, and of course, bigger cities, there's tons of gyms, you know, that you can go to or, or different types of workout places. So it's all about, you know, finding, again, that the place that you're going to want to go to and you can stay going to consistently. We love it if it's fitness for 10, um, you know, but at the same time, we love to see people just getting, you know, getting fit, getting in shape, being healthy in general, and just getting themselves to somewhere where they're comfortable to do that. And that's the most important thing. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know the owner over at Anytime Fitness. He's a great guy. I, I, I like him and I totally support him. You know, I support fitness and healthy lifestyles. And it shouldn't be 75% of the people wouldn't use the gym if it was free. It shouldn't be that. It should be 20% of the people don't use the gym. Um, 
And that's because they have to pay, you know, 80% of the population should be willing to pay, but find a gym that you like. And just my last thing is the boot camps are really great for people of all levels because you're working at your own pace, your own speed. You're, you're working within yourself. It's not, uh, the biggest loser, right? Where they're just killing you and no food, you know, it's not, it's not like that. Not at all. All right. So, uh, David, if people want to follow you, they can see your progress getting ready for your show. And that's, that's kind of fun watching the before and after and the progress of the pictures and what you're going through. How do they follow you on social media? So they can follow me on social media, uh, Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. That's going to be, you know, my personal Instagram page that shows my fitness journey, you know, uh, currently in the past, different things. So there's a lot of different transitions or trans formations, excuse me, um, and kind of transitioning into the show right now, uh, show prep, those types of things. So that's my Instagram for that. And then I also have my personal training page at right fitness training on Instagram. So check both of those out. There's a lot of good info there. All right. If you guys like this stuff, like, and subscribe, um, you can also find uh, Vitality and Wellness on TikTok and Instagram and even Facebook. So, uh, David, thanks for being with us. All right. Thank you, Steve.